Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk Movies. If you are new here, like and subscribe for future content. Will we see a sequel for Alita Battle Angel? I'm not so sure. It, uh, say, it has made a shit ton of money. It's not exactly enough, though, to, re to actually grant a sequel. So, we're looking at, uh, so... Altogether, so far, it has taken in $382,659,000 worldwide. It was made for 170, and I believe they spent 70 or 100 million on the uh, promotion for this movie, which would probably take it up to 270. So obviously, I think they would need to reach 400 to make it look worthwhile for a uh, for a sequel. And obviously, it's made three hundred million worldwide, which is crazy money, and it only made seventy-eight th uh, million in the U.S. on uh, domestic, so that's Canada and North America, which is crazy when you think about it. I think uh, postponing the actual release date of Alita: Battle Angel three times kind of ruined it. I really do think that because I think if it came out when it originally was meant to. Which was meant to be last... I believe it was meant to be the end of 2017. Uh, right, no, sorry. The original release date was meant to be July 20th, 2018. But obviously it was pushed back in February of that year to the December 21st slot. But obviously there was no way they were going to release this movie around uh, Christmas time when you had Aquaman and Mary Poppins Returns. So obviously it was pushed back to the final date of uh, Valentine's Day this year. It is kind of sad, but that I don't think we will see a sequel. Because the film is absolutely incredible. I love this movie. It's such a good movie. Uh, say storylines and everything going for it. They have a lot to, to move forward with if they do decide to make a sequel. Mostly because obviously the casting of... Edward Norton in a non-speaking role for this as Nova. And obviously it could be an intention to be set up as a, as a sequel. But I really do think they need to make at least 400, 420 million worldwide. Until they actually decide if they want to go ahead or not. Obviously having uh, James Cameron behind it with Robert Rodriguez. It can help a hell of a lot. But... Saying all this, Pacific Rim was made for 180 to 200 million and only made 411 million dollars worldwide. So, say uh, it was made for 200 million and it only made 411. Obviously, if you look at it like that, Alita should get a sequel, but I doubt it will because obviously, Pacific Rim. This uh, uprising was made for the same amount of money as Alita and only brought in 290. But we will have to see. It, it all depends really on the studios and how they feel it goes. I've got an inkling that when Alita does um, come on to DVD sales and home video release, I think it'll make a pretty penny there. I really do. I think it will make quite a, quite a bit of a change then. And it'll be interesting to see if they actually take that into account. Because if you remember when Dread came out in 2012. That only made I believe 35 or 40 million dollars worldwide. On a 45 million dollar uh, budget. But yeah so it made uh, it was a budget of 45 million. And it made 41.5 million for Dread did in the box office when it was released. However, I'm pretty sure it actually made about 20 or 30 million. Actually, maybe a little, even a bit more on uh, home video. Because obviously, it made a killing when it was released. It was number one in the charts, I think, for like two or three months. And just the way it's gone. So. Yeah, it's made $25 million in the home video release. So you add that on top. So you're looking at a good, you know, $70 million. You know, $65, $70 million give or take. That's how much it made. And, you know, that's plenty enough to uh, to actually go for a sequel. Because there's been tons of films out that uh, 
that has made considerably less. And they've got a sequel. We're talking of films like... You can look at directly The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. This film was made for $90 million. And the box office came back as $232 million. But obviously... That still got a sequel, you know, that got The Girl in the Spider's Web. Again, that has, you know, it's, I actually enjoyed The Girl in the Spider's Web, but obviously the film only grows $35 million on a $43 million budget. So, these sort of things can happen. You know, sequels have been made to films even though the first film flopped or bombed. And it all depends on what the property is like and if there's actually a need for it. But I think with Elite Battle Angel, at this moment in time, I doubt we will see a sequel. Even though I'd love one. But we will need to wait and see and see how this all plays out. It's got another month to go in China. It's uh, been given an extra month. So even that extra month, even if it makes another, what is on now? 320, 382 million. You know what? If it makes another 20 million in that month, you never know. It may actually, uh, we may see a sequel soon. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell to get the ding. And we'll see you soon.